No, actually, this is the opposite. Botox reduces sweat. And because the neurotoxin can also stop the sweat glands to work. And is one of the very excellent treatments for people who have what a condition we call hyperhidrosis, for instance. They have extreme sweating, even without any exercise or heat under the armpits, hands, and then the soles of the feet. But also when you do Botox on the forehead, the, reduce, the sweating on the forehead does reduce considerably. So sweating does not has no influence with the duration of Botox or the action of Botox is the opposite at works. And also at the same time, and that's why when you do this bio revitalization with, uh, with hyaluronic acid, sometimes I use some, some unit of neurotoxin mixed with it because not only reduce the sweating and also reduces the pores because they also reduce the production of sebum. So all those glands also shrink a bit and you get less, less uh, less open pores and the skin uh, texture looks better. Another very good question here I have is men can do Botox also. Of course they can. And actually I'm doing more and more often Botox for men because as you can see, we have very strong expressions and they start to get very, very straight and very defined lines. So usually the, we do the treatment slightly different from, from men and women because we usually men don't want to raise the brows in, in, in Women usually don't have some, some lifting of the brows. Men they don't want that. But at the same time, also we need to, work, to use more units to be able to, because the muscles are bigger and stronger, and you need to, to do that. So definitely is a very good treatment for men. And men, what happens is when they come and they like the result, or they get hooked to it and they keep on doing it. 